Hello, Star Munchers. Max here, back playing Supraland. Last episode, we are, um... Oh, look at that. We are standing outside of what appears to be some sort of long-form puzzle, I'm assuming? It seems quite involved. We can't get in there. That's glass. We still don't have what we need to get through that. Maybe that's inside. Who knows? Um, last time, we got the key that we need to get through the front door. And I'm curious to see what this is all going to entail. For now, let's just take the way that's uh, very obviously what we're supposed to do. Um, which is to go up here and then head on through the front door and see what the heck awaits us in there. We gotta be on the lookout for something green because we still have to solve some puzzles. All right, we are inside. This looks complicated. <laughs> are these red? Okay, so we can bust those up. Is that just a light? What do we got in this corner? So this is the crawl space we couldn't get into last time. It's a little strange that this is still an option. So maybe we can crouch or something weird at the end of this. What is this? Okay, so we have multiple angles. This is very portal-esque. We got a repulsor over here. A button up there that I'm assuming controls that. Got some coins. What does this do? Okay, so that's lined up with that right now. I don't know what any of this is. What does that do? Okay. What is the point of that? <laughs> this is going to be very interesting. Um, I'm curious to see how the heck all of this is going to work. Well, first of all, we can do that. What did that do? What does that even go to, I wonder? Something something beyond that door? Well, first of all, we can get back here. Uh, that could be important. There's our little uh, key. That's another paint machine back there. Huh. Interesting. So we have a key, and we know where the lock is. Lock is up there. But we can't shoot a key, right? That would just be super, super weird. What does this start at? This starts over here. I am very confused by this. Okay, well, we have a key. We have that. We have a Super Ball ring over here. Clearly. And a, an obvious Minecraft block. Um, What are we doing here? So we need to get a super ball inside here. I'm also, I'm still, I keep, need to go back to this real quick. So let's spawn a block there because there's a, a purple thing on the ceiling. What does this get us? What just happened? What is that supposed to do? Reveal something? Um, not sure. Yeah, that's purple, right? I'm not crazy. So, we can't go in through the front door, but we need to get a Super Ball inside. Well, the window right there, right? Let's just think about this for a second. We can't get through the crawl spaces, but a Super Ball could. So let's shoot one inside. There we go. I don't know why it took me that long to figure that out. Again, you smart people were probably clawing your eyes out, screaming at the screen. I really do appreciate having one bigger puzzle in a smaller area. I really do like that. So first of all, let's shoot that through. What does that get us? Okay, so that activates the repulsor. Good to know. And that repulsor, so if we go over here, can we launch the key up there first? That's my question. Is it at enough of a slant? Oops. Give me that, please. Did it go all the way up? Sick, it did. Now we just need to do that for us, which means that we need to angle this board in a way where we could bank shot it, I guess. 
That angle should work, right? Nope, not at all, not even close. Let's angle it again. That's probably more what we need. I'm gonna have to aim higher too. Oh, did that go, that went straight over. Okay, so I can actually aim lower. This thing has a lot more uh, power in it than I thought. Stand on here, do this. And then, yes, I can't believe that worked. Figuring stuff out in this game does feel good, though. Okay, so this still leaves us with a bit of a puzzle. <laughs> Not gonna lie. Because <laughs> why did I even bring the key up here? <laughs> the key needs to go over there. <laughs> um, okay. So this also controls that. So the question is... Why? Why any of this? What did that do? Is that permanently open now? Okay, that is good. So we have to do all that to get back over. So this also spins this around. So why would I need a blaster shot to travel around here? That's the question. So, okay, hold on, hold on. I, I'm figuring something out here. If you shoot from up there and it goes into that green pipe it would in theory travel all the way over there but I don't know what that does <laughs> um, but it's lined up properly I'm not sure what it would do do we have to go back outside to figure this out this we haven't done so this is the pipe from the inside, but that's closed right now. So how in the world do we change that? Oh, wait a second. There's a red thingy in here. That hole in the wall back there. So the hole in the wall is there. Oh, 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 hold on. Hold on just a minute. Rotate this. So we can do that. That did something. But I don't know what it did. Uh, what did that do? I have no idea what that did. No clue. Am I going to have to go back out there to find out what the heck it... What did that do? Did that raise that up? Is that it? What all did that do? I don't know, because I wasn't out here. What would be the point of being able to rotate this? Again, to most of you, this is probably mind-numbingly hard to watch if you know anything about this game. But I really don't. What would be the point? Could I jump from here to there? So if I use this at like a spacer to essentially stop it from going flush with the ceiling, is there enough clearance for me there? Hmm. Not sure about that, but let me try it, I guess. I have no idea if this is going to work. Probably won't, but it's worth a shot because I don't have any ideas currently. Run and jump. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, so we're up here now. Could we make that jump? Is that even possible? And if so, the pipe is currently in the wrong position. Ah, uh, let's just do it. Okay, we can make that jump. And now that's permanently on. So if we come up here... Okay, let's go grab the key. So we're making headway here. <laughs> it's been a slog because I am not the best at puzzle games, but we're getting there. Just hold on. Unlock this. What does this get us? Another platform, which goes up there. Cool beans. So we need to readjust this green pipe 
and not be this way, but be that, that way. That looks like too small a space for, for me to get to. Or wait, no, it's not. Can I actually cross over that without a problem? Ooh, spooky. I'm fine with this. <laughs> that was for you, Avery. What did that do? What did any of this do? Oh, wait, there's a treasure chest back there. So... What was the point? Well, we went in there and we pushed buttons, so I don't know. Let's just go ahead and do this. So we should be able to just hop up here, shoot that, and up we go. There we go. Oh, wow. Holy wow, that's a lot of baddies. Um, let's just grab this treasure chest before I get incinerated. Get out of here, please. You're not welcome. What is this? Sword damage, plus one. That's just what I need. <laughs> now, that shield breaker perk we got last time, that is going to come in clutch. Like, having that's going to speed up these ridiculous encounters so much more. Hopefully. There we go. Get out of here. I am not phased by your pathetic attempts at murdering me. What does this do? Whoa. Okay, so now we can flip it back to where it needs to be, which is there. Perfect. Cool. I actually thought of something before the game did. Now, what in the world is this supposed to be? How do we lift that? That is a very obvious thing we need lifted. How does one even get up there? Oh, wait a minute. Hold on. I see you. How do we spawn a thing up there? No clue. This is all very fascinating. Now, I know we can't get through this because we can't heat these things up hot enough. I think maybe gun damage, I think I heard last time, is what we need. Which I'm hoping we can get at some point in the near future because there's a lot of stuff that we cannot do. So there's this. So now we're out in the back of the place. What does that do? No idea. Oh, yeah, well, let's open it. Duh. Cool. So, oh, wait, but I can hit that. What does that do? Where's the, ah, so that is the platform. Alrighty, now we're talking. Now we're cooking with gas. Let's get up there. So we should be able to get all the way on top of this huge puzzle place. Man, once you actually start activating your brain, things work great. What do we got? Long, dark, spooky tunnel. Ah, uh, what could go wrong? This could go wrong. Uh, there's a fancy man. Okay, what's over here? Paint machine. Paint blip. What do we need painted and why? We can't change the color, so whatever it is needs to be white. This world we live in, I tell you. Uh, yeah, well, whatever. What do you want, Mr. Fancy Man? You have everything you need to solve this puzzle. So we got a red key swipe. Okay. Okay, so we have a key card. We have a key card. And we need it to be red. So, let's take this on back. See what we missed. Okay, this could be problematic, potentially. Wait a minute. No, it won't be. Does that work? Seriously? I did not expect that to work. So maybe in order to get the color we need for the green thing, we just got to get a green power-up and use it? I'm legitimately surprised that this worked. There we go. Get us in here. What does that do? What did that do? Seriously, what 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 happened? What did that 
can do. You're not gonna tell me? You're a true puzzle master, sir. Oh, clearly. I don't know what any of this is. Uh, well, we're down here now. So, this is a trap? No, it's not a trap. What is that? Float buckle. Be able to float near metallic surfaces. Light metallic objects can be attracted. The float buckle. Uh, float near metal objects is Q. F spaces to float up. Control to float down. What in the world? What the actual heck is this game? Uh, okay, so can we pull this stuff? Oh my goodness. Okay, so you hold Q, and it's like you're tethered, I guess. Is that the blue crystal? Is this the blue crystal tower? And I'm just stupid? What does that do? This is the blue crystal tower, and I'm just dumb. We're doing the blue crystal tower right now. I did not know that. Okay. Secret area. Awesome. Okay. So, just to recap, we can now move metal or climb it with this belt. That is like a tethering system. So, what the heck are we supposed to do? I mean, I guess go back the way we came and then find something we couldn't do before. That'd make the most sense. The fact that we can also just keep it on is great. This is the Blue Crystal Tower. I had no idea. But that does make sense considering how technologically involved this one was. There was a lot going on in this one. Uh, well, that should mean that we should just be able to go up this, right? <gasps> oh my goodness. This game is so brilliant. Okay, hold on. Um, so... Um, can we just go to the top? And see what's up here? We can! That is the Blue Crystal Tower. I can't believe I didn't see that until just now. But that means we could climb all this crazy stuff now. That we could not before. What was the point of this green pipe, I wonder? What was the point of that? I feel like I am probably missed quite a bit of, of stuff and things. Now, I can go back through all this, easy peasy, with my crazy float belt. And I can do this like a pro. Pull this up. I don't know. Oh, did it did it go? Oh, I cannot see anything. Did that lift up? It did. Oh, oh my goodness. All the secrets are mine. What do you have to say for yourself? What do you got to say? You have everything you need to solve this puzzle. Go for it. Um uh well, let's do that. And then... Sp There's glass there. Spawn that. So, the Super Ball can then roll all the way down there. And we're going to have a cool, awesome super secret. This is so cool. So, I mean, the, the Super Balls, they're not green, right? They're yellow. I'm not crazy. Maybe we don't put those two things together. Oh, come on. I can do that, right? There we go. Sweet. And that's the treasure chest we saw earlier. So, we were able to tie that up with a bow. What is down here? 
Nothing. Great. I love it. Uh, let's do that. Okay. That's fine. Okay, so this was the front. Back. Oh, I am being ambushed. Whatever will I do? I will probably die because I have very little health right now. Get out of here. Cool. Um, I think... So, if that was the blue crystal tower, so, yeah, that was, that most certainly was, because now we can go onwards and upwards, and we couldn't do that before. So, the float belt was what we got for our troubles, and we should be able to just float on over here like a boss just sort of checking this first see if we missed anything because i am suspicious also i was looking back through footage and i'm a big old dummy and the answer to that puzzle is not nearly as complicated as i made it look so uh this episode's run on way too long it'll work out because i'm gonna have to cut out a bunch of the stuff where i'm just going uh how do you do it well, first of all, stomping shoes right there. Second of all, money. Third of all, stomping shoes. Actually, float belt. Sorry. Sweet. Stomp radius, 50 centimeters. Up we go. Whoa. Is that new? Oh! That's terrible. That's truly awful. Got some crazy lava monsters now? No thank you. Yeah, we literally just had to shoot the Super Ball at an angle. Thank goodness. I don't even know what that did. I don't know if I care. What did that do? It opened this. This better be worth it. Health regen. worth it that's gonna do it so thank you guys so much for watching i will see you guys in the next episode see ya